Oh boy, guys, my house is trashed. We have had a busy summer and I've been filming lots of videos and making a mess and I'm just behind in every room of the house. Oh, don't judge me. I finally had enough time to get my act together and I spread this particular cleaning out over two days worth of filming. It took forever. I kept getting interrupted by the kids and I mean, golly. I'm gonna start in the kitchen because it's the area that we use the most and if it's not cleaned, I, I can't think. If, whenever my kitchen's all cluttery and messy like this, it just disrupts my whole process for the rest of the day. So kitchen comes first. we had a fatality in the family. I always look in my oven and I did. I looked in my oven before I turned it on and sometime in between checking and turning my oven on, my son put this little piece of pizza in this pot and they were melted, which is a shame. I have had that piece of pizza for years and years. I swear it's the same one that I had whenever I was a kid. You know, like there's six pieces of pizza and they connect into a circle and you cut them with the little fake pizza cutter. Oh, so sad. I'm going to have to buy a new one because I can't just have only five pieces of the pizza. <sighs> Hey, pro tip, wipe all your surfaces off first so that you don't have to sweep twice. I always forget to do this. Like, I know how to do this. I've cleaned kitchens and stuff for millions of years and it's the same drill, but somehow I always forget to do it. I'm so anxious to sweep the floor because I don't like seeing all the stuff on it that I forget that I have to wipe off all my counters first so that all the little crumbs and pieces of bits of stuff fall onto the floor so then I can sweep or vacuum it up and not have to do it a second time. Don't forget. Don't be like me and be the queen of forgetting stuff. My mom brain is really on the rise these days.
I gotta quit being so cheap and buy a real broom with the dustpan connected to the handle so that I don't have to crawl around on my floor every time I need to sweep up the piles of stuff. I just, I never remember to buy it. And then whenever I do see one in the store, it's like 20 bucks. I'm not paying $20 for a broom and a dustpan. Gotta love that clean kitchen feeling. Okay, moving on to the bedroom. Now, I know what you're thinking. What a slob she is. It's, it's really not like that. I'm not that slobby. I just happened to film two or three videos back to back to back that required use of all of those objects and I had nowhere to put them in the immediate second thereafter except for right there on the floor. And so here we are. That's why my room looks like this, but don't worry. Today's the day. We're going to get through a whole bunch of this stuff because I can't really take it anymore. I can't even walk in my room. Unacceptable. You can't even stand right. Wow, Regina's such a jerk. I recently watched the Beethoven second movie as an adult. So good. Just as good as an adult. Maybe even better because I can actually understand what's happening in the movie and kind of feel the pain of the parents and the cast members. Oof, go rewatch it. You won't be disappointed. So this large clutter pile on the floor right here is, oh, that's a bunch of different things. Stuff that I got from the Christmas tree shops because they're closing and in preparation for the holidays and upcoming parties. I also have a lot of the crafting stuff because I've been filming some of the art projects that me and my kids have been working on since it's the summertime and he's bored and out of school and we needed stuff to do. And I did a few shopping trips for myself so that I could get clothes and stuff like that since I don't have anything to wear post baby body here. Also made a video about that. What am I supposed to wear as a 30 year old mother of two? I can't only wear yoga pants and pajama pants, but that's all I want to wear. So please help me out. Give me ideas in the comments. I need them. Okay, so this was day one. The kitchen and lots of the bedroom, but I ran out of time. And then I had to wait like an additional day before I could come back. So this is what my room looked like a couple days later, which isn't that bad. I only added a few more things to the pile. Oh, and I was really dreading it because I felt like I was in my room for so long already, but it's okay. This actually doesn't take me too long because it was just large bulky items and not so much of the little tedious tasks like I was doing earlier. Anyways, day two, here we go.
So do you guys also slowly move your animals out of the way so that you don't wake them up from their slumber? Or is that just me? They're just too cute. I don't want to wake them up. I wouldn't want somebody waking me up either. All right. This, this pile of stuff right here on the floor has been in my room for like eight months, give or take. I mean... It has been defeating me clean after clean. I never want to sort the stuff that's in here, but I decided the kid is old enough, the baby's not crying, we can do this. I'm going to suck it up and empty out this basket full of stuff that I've been avoiding for so long. It wasn't even that bad. There's just a few items in here, but they don't have a home in the rest of my house, so I had nowhere to put them, but I decided no more. We're going to get rid of it. Today's the day. Again, I know I've already said that, but... Today's the day. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be born new Rewind to get out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew how much I, I should really invest in a mop Mopping is my least favorite chore of like all time and I've never liked it ever But now I hate it even more as an adult Maybe it's just these floors. I feel like I can never get them clean enough There's always some kind of weird film left over on them, but I, I don't know why I've tried all different kinds of cleaners I have a steam cleaner a, a real mop, but so far this damp towel method seems to be the most effective to restoring the shine back on my floor, but it only works in some places. I don't know. I need to get that spin mop for Christmas or something. Look at my room. This is the cleanest it's been in like a year plus, probably since before my uh, daughter was born. Look at this. It's amazing. And we're back to the mess. This is the bathroom. It wasn't that bad either. I've just been kind of neglecting it just a little bit just too lazy to sort underneath my cabinets is the problem so I accumulate lots of clutter on the top of my little counter there's not too much space so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out first probably I usually do my cleaning product in the toilet to give it a minute to sit while I work on different tasks so that whenever I come back it's had a chance to soak for a while I hope that makes it more fresh or something I don't know So outdated. 
I still haven't found a shower cleaner that I like. I have a marble and glass shower and I've tried a couple different cleaning products and I still haven't found one that I like or does a good job. So for now, I'm still Windexing the glass here. I have a little squeegee thing too and I'm waiting on my, what are those things called? Nor, nor wax cloths? I don't know. They're supposed to not leave any streaks on your thing and I'm supposed to be getting one for my sister, <sighs> hint, hint, but I still haven't gotten it, so I'm going to try that one out. But for now, it's good old paper towels and Windex. Fresh, clean bathroom. I love the old chemical bathroom combo. It smells delicious. This is still one of the areas of the house that we're working on as far as decorating and color combos and stuff goes. I decided that while I was at it, I had one more area of the house to clean and that was this little living room-ish couch segment and uh, it wasn't too bad, but the kids tear it up literally every day. So it doesn't matter how many times I pick up the toys or fold the blankets, put all the pillows back. It, I, I, I can do it five times a day and the kids will still come in here and mess it up. But y'all probably know how that goes if you've got a bunch of kiddos running around yourself. I usually do it first thing in the morning because it makes me feel like the house is clean even though it's not clean. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. That makes me so happy. I had a little burst of subscribers the other day and that means so much to me because I work so hard on these videos and I can feel the love whenever I see the likes and the views and the comments. I really appreciate it. I can see my little channel growing and that makes me so happy. If you wanna join me on that journey, hit the subscribe button and like this video. Don't worry, I'm gonna have some more coming because guess what, my house is still dirty. I also have silly videos, crafting videos, cooking videos. Check them all out on my channel. Y'all take care, bye.